Greetings kings and queens, welcome to another Real Stuff Podcast. Today is Thursday, and when it's Thursday, you know there's a grill, a barbecue grill or a pot cooking up somewhere. And of course, uh, we're going to smell it. Today is cooking curry with Chef Sinclair down in Tapioca, St. Mary, Jamaica. But first, uh, we're going to be linking up with Mr. Eric Barrett. Uh, Yes, uh, the last uh, Dirt Legend track, Champs. Uh, did I say it right? Or the last legend of the Dirt track at Champs, uh, for Boys Champs. Uh, and he's going to give us an um, Olympic wrap-up. Uh, also, we have uh, Courtney with us, uh, Flavius, uh, Francine, Max Vanette. Uh, they will be joining us. Uh, so, without any further ado, let me just go right into it. Uh, let me start uh, with Courtney. Top of the morning, Courtney. Courtney, top of the morning. Can you hear me? Top of the morning, Flavius. Morning, Franco. Morning, listeners, viewers. Good morning, everyone. What's happening in your neck of the woods, man? Well... Unlike yesterday, which it was very bleaky, mm-hmm. it starts out very sunny and hot this morning. Uh-huh. <laughs> little breeze, little breeze is around, but not much. You know, you can look at the leaves and see they're not moving briskly at all. Okay, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. But the weather is nice. The weather is nice. Glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. Courtney, what's happening in your neck of the woods? Yeah, man? Top- yeah, well, um, it's sunny out in New Jersey, you know, having a wonderful weather. But, you know, as I always tell you that, you know, we have to, when we see it like this, we have to expect thunderstorms. You know, mm. that's what happened yesterday <laughs> in the afternoon. You know, we got thunderstorms and a whole lot of rain for a short period. But today is a lovely day. And, and as we know, today is really sports, you know, so... You know, uh, wrapping up of the Olympics. And as we know, Jamaica did well. And I'm so proud of our athletes, you know, who have went and participated and did a great job. So just looking forward to hear from Mr. Barrett. In fact, in, in fact, Courtney, the Caribbean has done extremely well. Well, Mr. Extremely Barrett, well. Mr. Barrett is here. So yeah, we gonna, uh, yeah. And there, there was something interesting that I, I saw when they had the, the medals of the African countries and the diaspora. You know, it was, yeah. we were all on top. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Well, let's bring in Mr. Oh, yeah. Barrett. Top of the morning, Mr. Barrett. Top of the morning, sir. Top of the morning, you, sir. How are you? Morning. I'm, I'm, good. I'm good. I'm good. Welcome again. We know... We appreciate your um your analytic um ideas and insight. Lending your expertise, you know, to our, our clients. So that's yes. why we that's why we, we um we ask you to come back today to give us the Olympics wrap up. Your views, how you saw it, and you know. Well, well, as we all know, um, Jamaica and the Caribbean did well, mm-hmm. um, but of um, a, a note of interest is that Cuba did the best in the Caribbean Olympics, winning 15 medals, boxing, etc. Um, as you know, Jamaica ended up with nine medals. Um, we ranked fifth on the track and field table, um, and. We had a lot of surprises, as you know, you know. Um, 
some of some of our athletes made the semis, um, but never made it to the finals. Um, I'll give a special shout out to, to Genevieve Russell, who came fourth in the 400. Um, behind them, you know, the world record holder. Um, and remember, we spoke about Sharika running the 4x4? Four four? Yes. It, it came about, <laughs> you know, you know, where she, she helped us to carry on the brand. Um, not exactly how we wanted it. Not exactly how we wanted it, but we have to take where we get. Yeah, man. Well, as I said, because it's top, our it's top runner in that event got injured. Right. Mm. Um, but as you say, Sharika is like a, a utility player. She's she picking yes. anywhere, you know? <laughs> Magnificent but, uh, performance, man. And mm. in fact, um, you did very well. And it's also interesting to know that Elaine was on that lead, that the track and lead dealer got three gold medals, you know? Yes. I don't know, but three, but Elaine was top was on the top of the list, you know. In fact, in fact, she's the only athlete ever, well, female athlete ever, to win four Olympic gold medals. That is true. That is true. Yeah. First ever. That is big. Yeah, that is big. big. And um, we, as I said, the field event, we, we, we seem to be not very consistent with our performances in the field event, you know. Maybe we will make it to the finals, but we have not, um, we're not yet on the podium. So, um, we also... Well, uh, also Chris Taylor in his first in his first um, Olympics, you know, he's one to watch as we know from champs. Um, we will, you know, watch him closely. And uh, interesting to note that um, the Women League is scheduled for the twenty eighth of August in Eugene, and I'm sure that. It will be, will be there because it said that you know the argument that the Eugene track is very very fast. So, um, it was unfortunate for the for Tajay in the long term. You know, he had a heart and third, but he, he, in competition he got injured. Um, Ricky, the woman, woman. In the women long jump, she made it to the finals, but not to the podium. Um, speaking of um, Caribbean, um, the Bahamian Gardner, in fact, the Bahamas won both the men and women 400 meters. The Gardner and the uh, Lugo. Um, so and um, um, when you really look at it, the whole Caribbean did very well. Um, Excellent work. Um. Well, uh, um, as you know, um, men won the sprinter pool with him, with Levy coming winning the bronze. Um. The Beating the Grand Holloway, who was the world leader up until the time, the race, the race. Um, the four by four, the you know, men, men tried their best, but um, couldn't put me to the podium. Um, Shadi Lauren came seventh in women discuss. Um, and uh, basically, um, I 
and Febo did well. But, but as you know, the surprise of the meet was that for the Italian, who won the 100 with Jacob and the men four by one. So, um, so that, that's in a nutshell. My question is, I have a question. <clears throat> now that um, we have seen our, our men's team didn't perform as how we expected them to perform on the track. <clears throat> Do you um, have any idea what will be their next move for the World Games coming up? Well, um, you see, I don't... You see, the problem with that none of our men, although very promising, have, have found it difficult breaking that 10-second barrier, you know? Um, I know we can do well in the relays with the, with, you know, with, with the guys that we have. Um, but in the individual races, I don't know if we'll be able to, you know, be on the pickup for that. Unless somebody, you know, breaks through. Yes, so, Mr. Bard, Courtney here. Yes, Courtney, how are you? Good, good, good. Just checking in as they are on, uh, talking about our men at least. You know, I, I see something that, you know, I'm trying to, you know, get get together in my head. You know, why I'm about men not being as disciplined as the female. Because I, I look, I'm looking at the crop of females that are coming up, like the twins, you know, the um, Liston. And all of these women coming up and they are staying consistent. I haven't seen any consistent male athletes even coming out of the high school. What what is happening? Well, I don't know. Um, except for, for civil, um, I don't see them breaking through. You know, into the into the senior rank, and I don't know why. You know, it's taking a little bit longer than we had anticipated. Uh, these are we have so many great student athletes, you know, sprinters in these but these specific. And I don't see why they don't they haven't um you know, I don't know if they need to change their environment or what, but I don't know. It's very difficult my, to call. My my view on that, frankly. I think that they have they are overworking these student athletes, especially the good ones them. And I think one of the one of the problems with that is that we have increased the amount of meets before champs. Giving them much too much work. Everybody wants a piece of the action. So everybody is putting in a meet. And and but they must yeah, also go is that they don't run all the meat. You know, their their the coach is selective in putting them in, you know, in meat. They don't you know, there are a lot of meat, but they, 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 they don't run all of them. Yeah, that is so. But I think they I think they are overworked. I think some of them just give it up after they leave school. Well, no matter how good they are. Uh, well, that is true because that, that happened in the seventies when I ran. So I mean you we didn't really move on to anything after you know high school. But yeah. nowadays it, it, um running is a career, <laughs> you know? Yeah the opportunities are opportunities are there now. Right. And it, you know, you can develop you know, develop a career in, in, in running. Um, yes you can. And um I, I as I say I don't know why they you know, this whole overworking, um, I don't know. Um, it is very, I mean, I've heard the argument. But I remember, you know, if you fit and, you know, pass, um, you know, I'm sure it can be. But most, most at least at least, I think what's up is the work on your head here. I don't think, um, 
you know that I think that is where most of the problem lies. You know. Yeah. Sport colleges, etc. Uh, but back to the Olympics now. I have a couple of questions for you. One of the burning questions for me, really. Do you think Jamaica needs a proper relay policy? Okay, um, explain a little further. What do you mean by that? That you, that you would have a policy that you can pull people who are relay runners, not necessarily the fastest from a flat start, but they are excellent relay runners because wow. it's only one person, it's only one person will start from the blocks, you know. Point in, yeah. case in point, case in point, the woman four, four by one, we lost the world record because of an inexperienced runner on that team. Well, what, what, what? I, I, who are we talking about, Brianna? Yes, yes, she was a, a blistering That's leg. But the, yeah. the, exchange, the exchange to Elaine, that cost us the, the world record. Well, um, but you must also bear in mind, you know, is that the instructions were to go here and pass the baton safely, you know, because a lot of teams that just look at the Americans, they go out there blistering and, and mess up the baton. No, but, we, you know? but we did not um, pass that. We, we, we did not make a safe change for that. Elaine almost came out of the zone. Well, almost is not out of the zone. <laughs> I know, but it, I know, but it did slow up, slow up our, our time, it slow up our running because okay, she, she actually had to break. I think the greatest right. thing we get the win because uh, if that button had drop and we get no medal, then that would be a problem. So we get the win. No, no, we don't, we, we don't want we don't want the button to drop at all. Exactly. So we get the win. I mean, I hear a lot of people talking about it, and one commentator say the good thing is Jamaica remain one of the teams that get, that have um, stopped the United States uh, from not you know winning this event. Yeah, but regardless of that, regardless of that. If okay, look at the men. Look, look at the look at the men, the men four by one. The the four by one, the four by one in total was so weak that Jamaica could have gotten a medal if they had a proper button change. Well that that is after, after three tries. After three tries, you can't expect to be in the game. That is a fact. And but you remember, you know, these guys were just bunched together. They weren't um that is that is that is exactly what I'm talking about with a really policy. No no when no Flavius. Leave... No Flavius, one of the things at the Olympics they didn't give them any time either for practice. No, they, they need to practice before. Yeah, but they didn't. They they they, they um they what do you call it? The Japan executive body never give them yeah. the time. No, no, no. You need to practice before you you leave your country. Well, even so, still you still have to practice when you go here. Still, you know, you still have to make sure yeah, but, say your one, but, two, and three and four is right. Yeah, but this wasn't a little slow, slow. Button chain. This was this was horrible. Three I, I am saying. I'm saying. Look forward to the next Olympics uh, or to the world when mm -hmm. when all of the pandemic over because this take a lot. This take a, take a, took away a lot from a lot of athletes. You understand me? A lot of countries in general too. You know. Yeah, yeah, but I don't think that had, I don't think that had anything to do with this. What this had to do with this team uh, selection. I would not have selected that team. What you, Eric, okay, what, well, what do you say about the, 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 the men four by one team? Then would you have selected that? Who else would you have selected? I definitely would not use Julian Ford because Julian Ford 
has never won anything. He didn't, he didn't even qualify. He didn't even qualify to be on the team. Of course, he did. No, he didn't. He did not finish. He not finish in the top four in the hundred, and he but, pulled up in the two hundred. The only reason why he, the only reason why he went to Japan is because he had a, a qualifying time in the two hundred, and the other guys didn't have it. Fair enough, but I, I would have. Yeah, I no, my he, 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 no. I would I would have used Rashi Dwyer, mm. who has run four by four many many times before, and is very reliable. But remember, you know, when we when we did the 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 heat, the button change was good, correct? No, it wasn't good. No, no. If you listen, if you watch it again, it was not good. It wasn't as bad as the finals, but it was not good. He himself. Julian Ford spoke about the bad button change between him and, and the first runner there. Mm -hmm. He spoke about it. The button change was bad in the eats, very bad. But and, well, he, and he said he said they would correct it, and in the final it was double bad. Uh, well, well, well. I mean, the, 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 well, I know. I well, in fact, the, 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 the argument was that. Because of the lack of button changing, etc., and because of how the men did qualify, they, they didn't want to change up the team at all. That was the argument. No, I, I, the team. I think I think that is I think that is a bunch of garbage, really. Because firstly, I would I would even have Seville running the the final leg either. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready for that. Was not ready for that. You could give him a good first leg. You have to have maturity to run that final leg, especially if your team is not powerful. Well, well, well who would, well, uh, well, well, who would have argument <laughs> to one against it, you know? Because um, I believe had Civil got the button up there, he would have made a podium. Oh yes, if he did, yes, yes. But him basically give up. If he listen to what he said, you know, him, him didn't, him didn't, him didn't get the button close enough and all that. But him never showed a fight. Well, no, man. in fact, but, but, in fact, well, I know, well, I know, man. The grass got the button way behind him, you know. But the grass is a world class runner already. That is why I say. Him shouldn't be finishing. I'm a more mature person finishing. Like who? Who else? Who else? Like, you, like you and Blake. But you and you and is a con is a is a is a better corner corner runner. That's why they put him there. No, but, but you could you could you could you could you could. I would. Let me tell you the team now. I would. I would definitely. I would leave out the first runner. I think it's very slow. I would use Sybil there. I will use Rashid Dwyer on the second leg. And I would use Chris Taylor on the third leg. And you and Blake finishing. All right. Well, and we'd have done much better. Well, that, that is food for thought. You know, I don't know how to do that. But that's food for thought. Because the whole the, the world goes for world championship. My thing is that my thing is that they throw Sibyl in the deep end. You know, and that can damage him. They throw him in the deep end. Anyway, I have one, I have more, I have one more question. Mm. When these teams travel, I know they have a manager and they have a, a bunch of coaches and whatever. Right. Do we have I don't know what the word they would use, but I would call it a scheduler. Well, somebody who has well, somebody who has a schedule, and somebody who who will contact the athletes at a certain time on 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 race day and make sure you know them transportation is okay and things like that. They, they eat the breakfast at the right time, things like that. I am asking this I, question. I'm, sure. I'm asking this question because a 
of what happened to Andrew Parchment. It ends up to be very happy moment, but it could be a total disaster. Well, as I say, I, I would I would believe that they would have had somebody like that. Maybe maybe he got the call to you know go take the bus, but him go take the wrong bus, you know. Um, no, but somebody should. My mind, somebody should be there and make sure physically there and make sure him take the right bus. Well, <laughs> that is my that is my thing. If if you're running a proper a proper a proper ship like that. You need to do all these things. You need to cross all the T's and dot all the I's. Not because this man is a mat is an adult and a mature. You can't leave things like that up to them. Flavio, sir. I think you should mm-hmm. bring back um what's his name? The first um guest we had. He's not on the island. Okay, because maybe him that give you more information and all of these things if them have all yeah. schedule and all them people in place. <laughs> right, Eric? Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, Eric is just looking out from his point of view, you know. No, 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 no. no. This, 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 these are not questions at Eric. You know. These are questions just to put it out there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Whoever can understand what we are feeling. Mm-hmm. Well, as I said, I've, I've been on a couple of um, international, um, and they. What I mean is that you do have somebody, but those teams that I went on were very small and intimate. You know, I don't know whether yeah. you have a, a big team, you know. <laughs> you know, if it's a, big, um, a big team like that, you can need more than one person. Well, you can need all right. four. Mm. Well, I, I'm sure people, it, this will be noted, you know, because um, we can't really afford a, another mishap like that again, you know. Yeah, Eric. No, it, it, a quick it, it, thing. Bef- a quick thing before we leave. Uh, w- what is happening with Akeem Bloomfield? Well, I remember. Well, I need to get more information, but he was injured. I'm told. That's that, that's the latest word I got. That he was injured. Oh. So um, we need to get more information as to his, his progress, but he was injured. Okay. okay. And, and as such, he didn't he didn't run at the trial. Yeah, he didn't. No, he didn't. No. Mm-hmm. Mr. Barrett, thank you for coming here this morning to give us um, a wrap up your analysis of the 2020 Summer Olympics. And um, we do ask that you join us again whenever you can. Maybe no when, the, maybe when the when the the, the, the world game um started, you can you know yeah. be a part of All our right. panel again. So we look forward right. to seeing you. And so take care of yourself and be safe out there, my brother. Okay. All right. Thanks for having me. And I, and goodbye to everyone. Yes, okay. and you're a legend. Okay. Remember, remember, you. remember, you're a champ, legend, a legend that. A lot of people don't even remember until we bring you back. We bring you on the show. Yeah, them them start. Oh, that is the Eric from Camperdown, and a few people from Georges remember you as well. So you know, no problem. Take uh, care. Yes, man. Come on. Okay. Bye. Walking on sand And holding your hand Feel like a tourist in my own homeland In my own homeland Enjoying the bright mm, The warm sunlight Oh my God, what a beautiful sight In my own homeland this place is so nice, wanna do everything twice Yes, I feel as if I'm in the paradise No matter the season, you've got every reason This place is another little heaven East or west, 
I couldn't care less Ooh, this place, it is definitely best My own homeland North or South Feel free to wander about You can jump, dance or sing and shout In my own homeland Give yourself a treat, a few days or a week And you will see just what I mean Just take my advice, everyone is nice You feel like royalty, my friend Yes, yes, each and every Thursday at this time, we bring you Cook and Curry. And today's Cook and Curry is uh, one of our classic, uh, with uh, one of our hosts, Francine, a.k.a. Mitchaboo, out of Tapioca this morning. So we're just going to give you a rerun of what took place. So sit back, relax, and enjoy, uh, in case you didn't see it. Now you get the chance to see it. All right. Take it away. Take it away, my selector. You feel like royalty, my friend. Top of the morning, chef. Top of the morning. Curry, go, tan, manish, water. How you doing, chef? How you doing? What's cooking in your kitchen this morning? <laughs> Guess what? We did the cooking before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. I know that. I know that. Mm. This morning is going to be commentary. Commentary. All right. <laughs> A long time in a year, something like that. <laughs> yes. Mm. Yeah. So this morning is commentary. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm commentary. Wait. I'm waiting for, for, for your special guests uh, to get yeah. in the Zoom room. So in the meantime, let me see what we have over here. So I can load it up. Yeah, man. So this morning, this morning, your 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 chef, your special chef. <laughs> yes, Franco. Mm-hmm. Ah, who's behind the camera this morning again? Margaret. Ah, Margaret. Top of the morning, Margaret. How you doing? How oh, is your vacation so far? Is it a vacation if I've been here since June? Ah, oh, it's a study. <laughs> You're doing a thesis. Station, <laughs> station. Okay, I hear you. I hear you, Margaret. <laughs> All right, I can't see a scene with this morning. Beautiful man, beautiful. Yeah. Let me make everyone see what's what's going out. Mm. <laughs> the scene is lovely, dear Flavius. Okay. Yeah, man. <clears throat> uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gearing up. 
Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, fired up and ready to go. <laughs> fired now up. Have, now that you have a four runner in fancy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we have a, yeah, that's good. That's a good move, you know. This that's one of the things I wanna ask about. You, you had you had a group there um last weekend, right? Yes, group. Yes. And among the group was um one of our co-hosts, Francine. Yeah. And unfortunately, yeah. Max Wanit and myself and Flavius couldn't get to make it. <clears throat> but we're planning, we're making our plans. <laughs> yeah. But Francine was uh, privileged enough to be there. Yeah. And she was inside the kitchen as well. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. So um <clears throat> before she get on. I want to know what was it she was cooking and tell me, is she a good cook, chef? Yes, yes, yes. A very, <laughs> very good student. A very good student. <laughs> yes. So I was a one day online and was brave enough to, t- to take the challenge. Okay, okay. <clears throat> she did well. She did well, yeah. She, I, I, I've seen the video and she was, she was um, you know, moving around as if she was, you know, built for it, made to be there. Yeah. 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 Sure. And I just tell you that what we're doing, um, persons can learn and practice. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fancy, it's just leading the way. I'm glad to hear that. So at least we can say. Who better, better person to do it? <laughs> <clears throat> so, so for the for the for for that weekend in question. Only one yeah. time she was in the kitchen. Did she do any breakfast? No, just one time. One no, time. No, she was in she, she is a leader and a barn leader. A barn leader. So, okay. Yes, she, she was leading that group into activities. Uh-huh. Yeah, she, she, worked, she worked them out. She worked them out. All right, all right. <clears throat> I'm, I know she's in the waiting room. She, you know, ready. I think she's preparing, putting on her apron. I guess <laughs> she's putting on her apron, and then she's going to step in, in into the, the the light and the camera. Mm. But chef, I see, I see uh, Margaret showing the scene with you, and I'm looking at. I do those are what um, do you, what you call those things? Um, gazebos. Are those gazebos? Gazebos. And that's a pool here, right? Pool here. Yeah. All right. There is Francine. Light camera. Action. <laughs> Top of the morning. Good morning, one and all. Good morning. Good morning. 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 Well, I. How are you doing? Good morning, Tapioca. Good morning, Francine. <laughs> Good morning, Good Chef. Morning, Good morning, one and Good morning to the real stuff. If you never know me, just a run like about 600 miles. <laughs> the chef yeah. told us that you were in the kitchen and they must have, boy, you almost stayed on the kitchen, man. He <laughs> 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 run you out. He run you out. He said, you were you made for it. <laughs> Say my friend, you know, because I like you want to take a fee in position. My friend, you know, <laughs> good morning. I must tell you, so Mr. Sinclair is the best teacher ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, For me to prepare such a sumptuous meal so, in such a short period of time, yeah, because that's that's yeah. one of the things I want to know. Because I, um, before we get into the video, we're going we know because as Chef says, a commentary, you know, a summary of what took place, and you know, I'm going to commentate on it. I saw the video, right? Because I I put my touch to it. Right. I saw you cut. What was that? You cutting up the jackfruit or somebody else? No, of course. Really? You know, when you talk about Chef Francine, you have to speak to me nicely. Ah. You know? <laughs> yes. I, I, I cut he showed me one time. One time. One time. Mm. And after but that, then the, I said, okay, the, let's... The funniest thing I only see... Me, the, yes, the funny. Me. The funniest thing I only see you remove the skin off of the jackfruit. I never see you cut it up. No man, I <laughs> cut it up from scratch. But the thing is that mm-hmm. it may have not been as neat as Mr. as how Mr. Sinclair would have done it. Mm-hmm. But you know, it it was it it did its thing. Yeah. All right. One of the things I want to know, you, you you were doing some tasting, but I never see you put a jackfruit seed in your mouth because I wanted to know if it really tastes like bone. You look like you, you, you couldn't find it. 
No, to oh, it nice, you know. I don't know where the seed go. If it, I don't know where the seed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I eat the seed, I don't realize. All, but right. That... <laughs> All right. So, chef, is it good for us to, to queue up the video now? It is. I think. I think. I think we have done the introduction. Uh, All right. All right. So I'm gonna queue up the video. And um, see what happened here with the video. And like make, make John public see for themselves. And they can be the judge. Not me, Francine. John public going to be the judge. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't say blame it on Franco this morning. I can't blame it on you, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. So let me, let me put it into the place, though. No? Let me put it into place. And so we can get it running. So they can see you. Inside the kitchen. All right. There it is. <clears throat> Light camera action now. We're going to take it away and then. <laughs> yeah, you want to say something? No, no, go ahead. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Yeah, that's very removed in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, just want to say I'm going to in the kitchen, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm not going to All right. Hey. That's she, that's, that's naturally she. Okay, okay. You can't read it. You can't read it again. The real Michibu. Good morning, young man. Okay, here, here's the moment we've been waiting for. <laughs> what so what I'm doing at this point, I'm actually seasoning my pot, okay? So you guys better watch out, look and see what's happening, all right? All right, so this is garlic powder. So in the pot here, we have the garlic powder. So as it marinates in the oil, yeah. So after that, we are going to, at this time, put... We're going to put the curry in, right? You know, so you know we have to cook the curry first. You know. So all you people who like to just throw curry in a pot, that's not how it is done. You know, this is how we deal with it. You know what I'm saying? And we tip a little water. Right. So look and learn and see what's happening here. All right. So it's going. All right. So now we are adding our jackfruit. All right. Look at how it is simmering down. Right. Quick and down. Right. Can actually see getting the color already. So for all the persons who are not meat lovers, you know, this is a delicious meal. So Franco, Flavia, Max Renee, Courtney, we're adding a little bit more water on it, you know. This is how we do it, right here at Tapioca Village. So we're covering it now for it to simmer down a bit, alright? 
soon come back. Kim, Kim is handling her business quite perfectly. You know, we have our oh, lovely oh. guests right there. They're awaiting their breakfast. You know, they're enjoying what right is to me. come. Yes. Oh, Oh, we have the sexy Shanique over there. We have Pretty Kelia. We have Princess Dejeuner. We have uh, Itsy Beanie Petite Simone. And we have Mr. Handsome Devante. This morning's breakfast, we have Aki and Sawfish. Well done. We have Kalalu, Pop Choi. We have curry jackfruit. We have boiled bananas. We have yam dumpling, boiled dumpling. We have fish fritters. We have breadfruit. We have why me know what is sweet and sour fish. We have the best fried dumplings in the entire world. Yeah. So we're gonna check on our pot to see what's happening. So come with me. All right, so we're gonna test to see what's happening. Ladies and gentlemen, indeed, our pot is looking extremely beautiful, you know. This is how we do it, it's simmering down. And there's a technique in holding the spoon, you know, you have to hold it like a professional, you know. Yes, man. Yeah. So we're going to add a little bit more water to it. Yeah. All right. So this is how we do it right here at tapioca village you want healthy food natural food no additives no preservatives natural right so this is how we do it right here We're gonna add it a little twips of black pepper. All right. So I'm gonna taste to see the flavor. Yeah, you need a little tip of salt. Yeah, as a poops. And we are ready to eat. Good. Yeah. 
Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. Come and look at it. This is how we do it. Real stuff. <laughs> Boom blast. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wow. That, that was wonderful. That was wonderful. That was wonderful. That was wonderful. What girl was good. Mm -hmm. in that kitchen, man? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We the movie today. That, that... <laughs> so, 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 so the thing I want to know, right, because uh, everything, everything, you know, was on par. <clears throat> right? <Yeah. laughs> when are you planning on going back to, to cook the next meal? <laughs> that is a surprise. That is going to be a surprise. <laughs> that, that was good. That was good. That was good. It was excellent, you know. I, I, so I, I, I is a, a real natural man. Yeah, is yeah. Natural. The good thing I never watch. That good thing I never watch all of the video. I just watch just yeah. the first clip. So <laughs> seeing it now, you know, in its completion, is really good. It's really good. And, and, and so, you know, we, 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 there's a lot more to it than that, you know, mm -hmm. but we can't give out everything. You know what I'm saying? So you guys yeah. hold back on us? That's what you're telling yeah. me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Chef. <laughs> Chef, we never expect that. <laughs> That's my secret. That's my secret. Hey, Chef, what uh, you make sure you hold out on us? <laughs> So, Chef, no, give me, give me your, your, your summary on it, Chef. Let me hear your summary on it. Okay, the, the, the lesson from this is that what we are showcasing to, to, to persons and, and the, the reasons, the, the health reasons and the back to where we're coming from reasons and mm -hmm. all of that. And um, persons can come here and... I've been doing it all the time. What, what people do? When you leave here, you go back home and you can do it for yourself. Sure. So, fancy is just that, that adaptable. Matter of fact, that happened, that decision came in about five minutes. You know? Yeah? <laughs> yeah, man, I just go and say, come. Hold on, hold on, hold on. She, she came to you or you asked her? Which one? No, man, I went, I went for her. Okay, okay. I went for an answer. Remember, you have to carry back stories to, to, to Eastern, remember? Yeah, yeah. She, lo she looked like a natural. Uh, like she knew herself yeah, around the kitchen, yeah. Natural, and, and natural natural too. Yes. Mm. And, and the natural the, the, thing, the thing that amused me when she came to, um, after she passed the, the fritters uh, and the roast bread food, she said, been around with this. <laughs> yes, yes. That's, really, that's real fancy. <laughs> yeah, been around with this. Uh. No. But can you imagine after me identify everything else and me come down, me see this pretty burgundy. Me don't know what's so up. Before me turn my tongue, me just say, boy, me don't know what is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah man. And everything that was there, trust me, it was worth having. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. All natural, tasteful, yeah, man. Palatable, everything there. Well, no that's exaggeration. Good, that's good, that's good. If somebody, you know, first hand. On the ground, so you know. Ground. Yeah. Well, well Franco, mm -hmm. you can ask now that fancy not open the door for you. Cho -cho. Yeah, 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 you can. Now we have to help you plan hard. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> we don't need no plan hard. We're going to fish. <laughs> We're going to fish. We're going to do a fish. We're going to fish. We're going to fish. We're going to stuff a fish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're going to catch it too. We're going to catch it from the pond so people can see it. You know, and she can see it. Clean it up and then you know, put it into action. Yeah, man. We're going to get fish. Mm.
Well, so that seems like you want to open my little pot. Oh, no, 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 no. I would, hey, when it comes to food, I don't compete, you know, <laughs> because the t- them said the taste is in the what? The pudding. <laughs> I want it to be tasty. I, I'm not competing. Flavius can tell you. Flavius can yes. tell you. And there's a chef up in Flavius neighborhood that can tell you also. Because he came and, he, and the aroma that was coming from my pot, he thought it was yep. curry goat. Trust me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I have two. Yeah. Uh, actually, I have two witnesses. Um, yeah. Dahlia. She came the next yeah. day and she had some too. And she thought it was curry goat. And yeah. it was just curry chicken. So I can help myself around the kitchen. Mm. Well... <laughs> it's, just, it's just for you to taste it and then you can say oh yes yes yes, yes. so as I, as I said you know the taste it will be in the pudding <laughs> yeah. All right. mm. but it was good I, I like it and I think you know from 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 the from your standpoint you know your, your presentation was good and excellent and i excellent. yeah excellent and as the chef I always I always do make sure whenever a guest come or you know a first time visitors either they they come in the kitchen see what is going on and you know you were able to participate by you know doing something that we always see the chef prepare and that was good you know that was good yeah. mm-hmm. I'm, and I noticed I was in the pot and my apron well dressed. Yeah, I saw, I saw you started out first and I hear you said to Chef, Chef, warm to my apron. <laughs> <laughs> and it was right. It was right. And you've never on, you've never on the cap too for cover your ears, so, you know, you were well, you know, presentable. <laughs> I, I love that. Where's mommy? Where's mommy this morning? No, no. today we are up and, and the... One of the patios looking over. Okay, okay, okay. Not in the kitchen today. Okay, she's taking a rest. All right. No, she's in the kitchen working. Oh, she's in the kitchen. Working, oh, she in the Margaret, kitchen. Margaret and myself is up on the patio. Yeah, I see Margaret, like she kick out the arms, spin out of the rollers, the camera person. <laughs> <laughs> but she... I, I can... Franco, yeah. Davis, I met Margaret, and Margaret is a sensation. I tell you, she's just as busy as this. She's just been up and down, and yeah. and I mean, when yeah. I saw her, she looked relaxed, you know, and she was just she was just enjoying the property just as well. She looked you energetic know? as well. She looked energetic. How long you will be there for, Margaret? How long you gonna be there for? For the rest Not of the sure. month? <laughs> Not sure, to be honest. Oh, you might go right <laughs> up until the rest of the year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But it's it's good it's good to have you there as well you know. Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. uh, you know, uh, as we know, the chef look like him love a variety, him love to mix up things, eh? you know. <laughs> Both in personal and in food, and that is great. That is great. <clears throat> We got to work, to work together, you know? mm-hmm. and, and and this is this is the the magic of fancy. Yeah, yeah. You know, really one day. Might have really interview her and take her from You know what? I want her to be there when I'm there. Yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. I want her to be there when I'm there. You know, that's it. Yeah. So she can she taste have, it as well. Mm. She have a magic about her. Mm-hmm. And it fits into, into this hospitality business. Well, if you utilize her, chef, okay. utilize her. Bring her down sometime. <laughs> utilize her. <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm telling you, you'll be get, glad you do <laughs> utilize her, man. As, as, as my friend Al Pacino, it says, she's going to make you proud one day. <laughs> I guarantee you. <laughs> so uh, we thank you. We thank all of you this morning again, you know, for another bad creation. As we say, bad, it don't mean bad as in taste. It means bad as Michael Jackson thriller, bad. You hear me? <laughs> So, you know, we'll do it next week again. And Francine. No, hold on, hold on. This is what I was waiting for. All right. This don't put on the chef part for me. What? For this morning only. Chef hold on, hold on. She, 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 she says she need the culinary title now. <laughs> I think I think in order for her to get the culinary title, we have to be there. I have to be there. Our crew have to be there. <laughs> 
<laughs> before, you, before you can get the culinary title. Oh, and, 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 and roll by yourself. Exactly, and, and yeah. So we can and say yes. Uh, uh, there uh, you go, there you go. It's only fair enough. Huh? Only fair enough. Yeah, <laughs> only fair enough. <laughs> and the reason of that guy's university. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, Chef, that, that scenery, you know, the backdrop there right now is, you know, it's breathless. I'm telling you. Beautiful. Margaret, you're capturing a, a beautiful scenery this morning. Yes, it's what I see every day when I wake up. I'm fortunate to look out into this landscape. Yeah, I'm you know? telling you, man. Wonderful. If she has a seat, Franco, come home, come see. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, until next week. Uh, take care of yourself, Chef. Uh, Margaret, you. uh, Mom, yes. Spang, Francine. Until we do it uh, all over again. All right? One love. Yeah. All right, bye, guys. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Okay. This place, it is definitely best My own homeland North or South Feel free to wander about Yes, yes, uh, for those of you just joining us, welcome to the Real Stuff Podcast. Uh, and if in case you missed today's proceeding, you can watch it later on on uh, our YouTube channel. <clears throat> Uh, so f I want to thank all those in the chat room this morning, Courtney, Terry Ann, and also Opal, those who didn't participate as well. We thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule and for spending your morning here with us. We ask you to do it tomorrow with us again and continue to do it. So for you to know when we are on, please go ahead and subscribe, like the video as well, and share it with a friend and invite a friend and a friend and a friend and a friend. And see you next week. <clears throat> Flavius, let's get out of here. So let me hear what you have. Oh, I think, I think, I think, I think we have opened up a new dimension, you know, mm -hmm. with the Real Tough Podcast team moving into cooking. <laughs> that was wonderful, wonderful man, Francine. Yeah, Michibu. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Beautiful. And of course, wonderful for our host Tapioca, who's always, you know, very, very kind to us. Really appreciate it. Choo, choo, yep. choo, 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 choo. <clears throat> well, um, as always, uh, before I leave this morning, I want to send another shout out. Uh, to um, Empress Talet, who is um, recuperating. Talet, mm -hmm. take care of yourself uh, and family. You know, man like Damien, Sheldon, uh, Empress Stacy, <clears throat> and all the family. And I have you in my prayers. Uh, <clears throat> and I hope, you know, that you all will, you know, be strong at this time because mom is going to pull you. <clears throat> so, as always, take care of yourself. Uh, your loved ones and remember the prayer changes things regardless of what religion you belong to you must have a pray keep on praying and continue to pray <clears throat> and in the the, the, the garafuna language our father i'll ask queen lubafo to say the our father in the garafuna language for us and tafina will take over herself to take us out uh, tomorrow our poetry corner guest will be cindy Ma yes 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 um you have um, heard a uh, rebroadcast of um, Cook and Curry with um, Chef Sinclair and Francine, a.k.a. Michibu. And you see where she was um, cooking up one of the dishes that is on tapioca menu right there, uh, which is uh, the, the famous uh, jackfruit, uh, a good vegetarian meal. So with that, I'm going to get out of here. I'm still going to ask Queen Lubafu to get us out of here with the, 
Garifuna, uh, um, with the, in the Garifuna language, our father. But our guest poet tomorrow will be none other than... Who's our guest poet, Courtney? Oko or Anora. All right. That's our guest poet for tomorrow. So, in case... Uh, um, you know, before no, 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 I'm not going to do that. Let me let me acknowledge those who are inside the chat room this morning. Want to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule and for spending some time here with us this morning. I see Mr. Bean is there, Francine is there, and Empress Talit. Whoa, she's back. She is there this morning. Empress Talit, for my viewers who are um and and personals who are inside the tower prayer we were sending out prayers for empress talent because she you know she was sick so i'm glad to see that she's back so um i'm gonna continue with our prayer tower and i'm gonna let it be known to all those who are involved that yes she has recovered um and birthday greeting franco a birthday greetings going out go ahead flavors because um it's best for you to to send out the birthday greetings yes uh a belated birthday greetings to another of the real stuff podcast team members cassie cassie had a birthday yesterday so happy birthday cassie stay and good and happy birthday to those who have celebrated birthday yesterday and those who are celebrating today. But remember to subscribe, like, and share the video. Because the object of this channel is to educate you and entertain you as well. So until next time, on behalf of uh, Francine, Max Wanette, Flavius, Courtney, and myself, uh, we're wishing you all a pleasant, good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time zone you're in. And we're going to ask Queen Lubafu in the Garifuna language to say to our father, Tafuna, Tafina, we take on myself to take us out. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, this is it. Till next time. Bless. I no longer do what I was gonna do But you're no good for me That's why me do what set me a fickle flee Me I fi take away me say Me I fi take away me say Well, unfortunately this is it Till next time, bless Me I fi get all that side Me I fi take away me say I fi take away me say Unfortunately, this is it. Till next time. Bless.